Welcome back to the shop everybody and as you can see my mat is gone too many years of abuse so I gotta go to Harbor Freight and tape down a new mat here to protect the carpet um, you get to see some machining here today what I call fun machining but um, let me take you over to the bench first and kind of summarize what's been going on with this making a motor pulley project. See you next Friday, I hope. Can't tell you what a journey this has been. A lot of comments left on the past videos of this table saying it doesn't end and it's so true. So first up, want to make a pulley, odd number of teeth. It needs to be fractions of a degree. The only way I can do that is with the dividing head. So I go on YouTube and try to find videos to show me how to put this thing together. Found it, figured it out, got it together. Next up, these little arm things here are really sloppy. Fix that, got it nice and solid so they turn together and they don't move all over the place next this guy is a pain it rocks it doesn't spin so okay remake the entire center out of aluminum was good but I didn't trust it I thought it would fail while I'm using this thing make another centerpiece out of 1144 it's perfect now it's solid doesn't rock that project's over next I gotta figure out how to work this thing so if you read watch some YouTube videos and they kind of explain it so I do a test with the gear up here and a pointer and every time one rotation is supposed to be four degrees but I look up in the table the manual that came with it what to do for I think this was 17 teeth and it's not working it's not lining up do read the book and it says one revolution is four degrees I do one revolution I look at here and it's five degrees okay this is not a 90 to 1 worm gear it's a 72 to 1 playing with this dividing head plate here the book says that the worm gear is 90 to 1. One revolution equals 4 degrees. You look up in the table here and it says you use plate A, which I have. You move 5 revolutions and 5 holes. So I put the test indicator as a pointer on here and you do the 5 and 5. It's a mile off. So I figured, well, maybe it just does, does it differently. So I put this guy on here and made a black mark, do five and five and marks and marks and marks. When it goes 360 is a mile off. It doesn't land on the same mark. So something is wrong. And I know when I was playing with this before, I was trying five revolutions and four, no, four revolutions and five holes. But I stood this thing up and I did one revolution and it is not four degrees it's five degrees therefore if you say I figured out the worm gear is not 90 to 1 it's 72 to 1 now I've got no table nothing to tell me what to do so I start watching more YouTube videos which try to explain the math on how this thing works and I can't understand what they're trying to say. So I go on my own, I figure out the math, I do an Excel spreadsheet, it, uh, I do a bunch of tests with an online uh, calculator, I'm comparing the two, my spreadsheet looks absolutely correct spreadsheet tells you how many rotations for the teeth how many extra holes what plate to use what whole circle to use on the plate okay got that done next up now I've got to figure out how to hold 
my arbor thing here for the gear. Um, okay, so the table hole is off centered. I can't mount the three jaw, uh, three inch on a table because it has three holes and I've got four slots. So I wind up making a plate. Now I can mount whatever I want on the plate. Ordered a four inch ER32 collet chuck thing that goes on a lathe because this guy if I put these in here I'm going to have holes way out in the middle now I'm realizing that the collet chuck the screws go on the bottom so now I can't get to these to get the run out out so um, the four inch never came cancel that order bought the three inch got the three inch in I didn't like how it looked how it was machined it's like terrible so that's going back so now what do I do because the three inch um, is gonna give me too little a room here for the collet or not collet nuts for these things whatever they're called can't remember so now I've got no choice but to make my own since you can't buy it make my own ER32 collet chuck any size I want it works I am at the end I just need to do the whole patterns to mount everything I can either use these guys to get rid of run out or I can permanently sink and secure them and then use drill at the top of this guy and use them to center it up I don't know whether I want to do three holes or four holes on this probably three but I'll take you over to the lathe now and show you where I am making this guy all right ER 32 collet block before I can copy this taper I wanted to make sure it's pretty straight and this is the each tick is a half a thou so I've got it down to pretty much so a half a thou you can see it there moving around it's uh, uh, almost a thou but that's pretty darn close I think it's good enough for this taper so now I gotta angle this guy put this up here and then sweep it until I get the angle right I'm not sure how to do this any better than this basically the two socket heads were just kind of snug up run it in and out looking at the test indicator to, for, to get the angle so there wasn't movement I've got it within one thou I'm not sure how to do it any better though because I'm eyeballing this it's straight I'm eyeballing I'm on center because if I'm not on center I don't think it's going to get the angle right actually it might be a little too high oh hey boy this is not easy to do huh how do I find center yeah I'm higher than I should be but is this tight yeah that's tight can I get it lower it's better for center let's see what it's going to do here huh back it up until I get a reading there now run it in same thing pretty much so with NFL so that's interesting um, I think I'm just going to do it that's uh, so I can't do anything better so this comes out and the aluminum piece I've got oh I didn't make it out of steel because steel is just way too expensive for a giant three inch piece off of either Amazon or eBay so I figured as much as I'm going to use this thing aluminum would be fine yeah I've turned a bit of this but just to say you know okay so I'm going to do this taper and it is wobbling so I can face it that'll be perfect to the taper this is oversized I'm going to turn this and the face so this will be final size for the threads it'll be perfect to the taper thread it 
then I can put a gauge pin, a block, and a gauge pin in there, flip it around, and do this other face so I know I'm straight out. Um, just realize I do have another way of checking this. I've got angle blocks here. A five degree and a three degree. The internet says the ER32 is supposed to be eight degrees. That to this, and it's like I'm right on the money. So that worked. There's a way I can double check this thing. So, um, and when I put the collet in there, seems like it wants to rock just slightly. But I don't know. So, I mean, it's it's tight when you just slightly push it in there. So, I'm just going to go with it. Now, I need, well, I'll do a little bit. You guys have seen me doing this before, so. But, um, I just need to get it to the dimension of that uh, uh, block thing that you guys just saw. Bring the RPM up a bit. Bring it in. Yeah, I'm not going to put the light on it. There. So it's just a matter of easily going back and forth. I might re-bore the center because I can actually see it wobbling around in there. I probably will redo the center just for the heck of it. Don't have to, but whatever. And again, using my new boring bars in for something really deep. Wow, I'm starting to, ooh, I'm really exceeding this the compound here is hanging way out. I'm way the heck back now. Wow. Way back to about there. I'm going to move in further. There. Go in, over, and keep on going. So this bar, the whole setup here should work all the way and the chips coming off this bar i love it look at it just curls we get too close to those jaws all right so all right so now i gotta pay attention to the mention so i'll finish this off camera but you guys get the idea here on what's going to happen Eight degrees, I'm pretty sure I'm right on it, boy, with that test indicator. I was like within a thou, so good enough. All right, I think that's got it. I put this guy in the collet block and it doesn't rock. I've got a little bit of a rock here, but when you push it in, I'm hoping these fingers collapse more than these, because I guess I got the bottom off by thousands or something took sandpaper in there and tried to take it down made it a little bit better but and then to square this guy back up all I do is just put a square on there and hit it right am I yeah doesn't move so I'm squared back up now like I said face it off where's my tool geez I'm swarf everywhere is here from doing that wrong tool huh. this one wrong color so put that in angle it face it so I'm set to face it I want to bring this to the correct diameter now for um, threading that'll be fun now that I've got a nice new threading tool I have to see how it works like I said this is wobbling yeah, one more speed than that not by much though huh? I did taper further in than I needed Knowing I'm going to cut this back some. Oh. That's it. I got a nice clean face. Didn't do that much. Oh, I'm going to need the saddle stop in here. Uh, I want to angle this more. Saddle stop. So I know where I'm stopping. There's all this junk everywhere. Try to get my fingers in there. There. All right, so I need to loosen that. Oh yeah, because I'm going to use the power feed here. Engage that going out. All right, so I hit, lock this in place. There, back it up. There. Okay, so face shouldn't be that bad either. Huh? 
I am maxed out on that. Which means I need to come back, tilt it, until I can do that, right? Yeah. Okay, go and hit now. Now I can come in and do this. Shouldn't be when you sit that far off at all. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, there it is. There's only a few thousand swallow. It's cleaning it up pretty nice. Beautiful, huh? No, I don't think I got the face enough. I see some pattern in there. Oh, turn this light off for you guys. You can kind of see the finish of these aluminum things. Did I get the face? Looks like I did get the face, but I don't know what that pattern is I'm seeing. Back in. A little deeper. Then I need to start calipering this thing to see where I am for the thread. Man, that's making a lot of noise. Yeah, it's more sport. Yeah, you can kind of see a nice finish for this one. The TCMP2151 made specifically for aluminum. Lovely finish. Alright, so let me caliper and start doing stuff off camera here. Well, threading is always fun. Let's see if I can get the camera down a little more so that's in the center. I'm sitting here with a magnifying glass, but, um, okay, so, yeah, I changed all the gears for metric 1.5 millimeter pitch, and I will never disengage the half nut. Uh, I've seen a lot of people do it, and they use that dial, but... My lead screw is not that hot on either machine. So if I disengage and then re-engage with the little uh, numbered wheel, it ain't gonna come out the same. So I'll back out and put it in reverse. Now I forgot where I am. I'm five, yeah, I think I'm five thou from. So I'll just show you what happens here. I am taking a cut, not much though. Um, back it out that's too light so i want to back i'm five thousandths under the 20 reverse and i go way back out to pick up any play back to forward i'm five thousandths under the 20 i said so that's right there take a two thousandths cut um so this is yeah obviously my new two holder or insert holder Threading and it works beautifully. Um, got it on dead rotational center. So this is, uh, yeah, I should be using cutting fluid, but my tap aluminum here. I'll just put some on it. I don't need it yet, but why not? Oh, I can see it running down all the threads. So here we go. Fun, fun, fun. I love it. Mm. It's just curling right off of it nicely. Back it out. So I am now one, two, three thousandths under the 20. Reverse. So the next step would be at the 20. Back to forward and go to the 20, huh? Yeah. So a lot of this, I'll do one more, and then I'm just gonna have fun paying attention to it off camera. Cause I wanna make sure it comes out good. And it's right on the money. It, ooh, stalled, huh? All right, I gotta go in the low gear, huh? I'm on the 20, so back out, reverse. And hopefully going to the lower gear does not Cause a problem. I gotta go back to the 20. 
And I'm gonna go, this is scary doing this, because I could change it, I hope not. Different gear, well, let me back out of the 20. Then I'll go forward, and I'll come in and see if it matches, just stop it, send it. Yep, looks like it's right on it. Okay, so that's gonna still work. Didn't upset anything. Back it up. Go back to forward, and then go back into the 20. Wow, I was that far backed out? I hope, huh? Yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, hopefully I got it in the right spot, huh? Yeah, I got it. There it goes. Pick right up where it left off. Oof. Alright. So back out. Hat quarter rotation. Go back. Alright, so I'll just be doing this off camera until the nut, which is to my right, fits. Back to forward and back to the 20. Okay, guys. Be back. That's it. Came out really good. Like I said, I don't disengage the half nut period. I'll just back it all the way up if I have to. But it screws right on there beautifully. Beautiful looking threads. So now I may redo this face, I'm not sure. But yeah, it, it bottoms all the way out. This, this cutter is just beautiful, man. So, okay, I got a 5 or ER32. I can disengage this now. Put it in reverse so I can clean up the threads a bit. Uh, on would help. Yeah, just chunk all of the threads here. Oh, I'm still on low speed. Yeah, I chunk. So, okay. Uh, go back to forward, go back to high speed. Yep. Beautiful, huh? Wow, that is just nice. Alright, so now, what do I want to do? It doesn't rock that much. It goes in further than I intended. Oh, I probably should chamfer that edge, but snap it in there. And it should go all the way down. Come on. Yeah, I definitely got to fix that edge to get this thing started. That thing is sharp, man. Hit that. So this should clamp nicely, right? Now this is the half inch guy. Yep, I got to feel it tightening up right there. Hmm? So, beautiful, huh? Alright, yeah, I think I'm going to do this face. And clean this up down in here some with uh, that parting tool make it look beautiful because like I said this shop does quality work okay um, beautiful tool just put it away man mm -hmm.